22 homicides in Cincinnati this year. The number has gone up again after another deadly shooting, this time in Avondale overnight. And people who live in the community are fed up with the crime, so they held a Stop the Violence Easter event to make that known. Not on your side reporter Amy Wattis is live with a story tonight. Amy. Jason, this event was held by Over the Rhine's Community Council, and while this was the fifth year for it, it was the second time in Over the Rhine. Now, it's not only about Easter, it's about community engagement and keeping the peace. Music, dance, and laughter is what brought these kids together on a gorgeous Easter Sunday afternoon. Happy Easter! But this celebration was about more than just the holiday. It was about community and teaching kids that violence is not the answer. When we do these type of events in the community, it's easier to send a message out this way because everybody's having a good time, uh, everybody engaged with one another. James McQueen helped make this event happen. While good food, the Easter Bunny, and an egg hunt was involved, McQueen says he wants to see kids grow up the right way. Kids is, you know, dying every day now, just like adults. Around 12:30 Sunday morning, 45-year-old James Joyner was gunned down in the 3100 block of Reading Road in Avondale. The latest crime stats from Cincinnati police show homicides are up 50% over the same time last year. These latest crime stats were circulated internally, showing five more murders in less than a month. I think uh, it's time that you know we come to a realization that we don't need to fight amongst ourselves. It's enough of us being taken under by you know the influence of violence. I think that this would be a nice resort for you know people getting together. I think people should just stop killing, stop shooting, stop murdering. Tabitha Israel says preventing violence is all about keeping kids involved. Keep them positive, Boy Scouts, school, basketball, football, anything they can get into. So kids can make the right decisions on the path to adulthood. Now the Over the Rhine Community Council plans on holding other positive events for kids in the future. Today's event wasn't specifically just for people in Over the Rhine. People from all over the tri-state could attend. Amy Wattis, 9 on your side, live downtown. Okay, thank you, Amy. Well, tonight police are asking.